GLXD wireless systems offer rock solid performance and easy setup for bands and small to medium sized venues. But for improved wireless performance and more channels, choose GLXD advanced receivers and a frequency manager. In this video, we'll show you how to connect six receivers to one frequency manager and then how to add a second frequency manager for up to 11 receivers. The frequency manager automatically assigns frequencies and distributes power and RF signal for connected receivers. If interference occurs, the frequency manager moves receivers to new frequencies without interruption. First, mount your hardware in a rack. For the best wireless reception, use these directional antennas. They provide a focus signal that will reject interference sources behind the antennas. You'll only need one pair of antennas because the frequency manager provides wireless signal for all six receivers. Mount them to a wall or a mic stand pointed at the performance area and make sure that there's a clear line of sight between the antennas and transmitters. Move any Wi-Fi routers about 10 feet or 3 meters behind the antenna so they won't interfere. GLXD systems work in the 2.4 GHz frequency range, which is the same as most Wi-Fi routers. Connect the reverse SMA cables to the frequency manager's antenna ports. Connect each receiver to the frequency manager. Use the power cables to connect power out to each receiver's power port. Next, connect the power supply to power in. Use the short reverse SMA cables to connect the receiver antenna ports to RF A and B on the frequency manager. For the first receiver, connect RF A1 to antenna A and RF B1 to antenna B. Work sequentially, so the next receiver will use RF A2 and RF B2. Use the cascade ports for the sixth receiver. Make sure all of your transmitters are off, and then turn on the frequency manager. Turn on all the receivers and set them all to the same group by pressing group on any receiver. To link transmitters and receivers, press link on the first receiver and turn on the first transmitter. The RF light flashes and stays blue when they are linked. Repeat for each pair. For more than six channels, use a second frequency manager. You can operate 9 channels in typical conditions, or a maximum of 11 channels in optimal conditions. You'll use the cascade ports on this first frequency manager to connect to the antenna ports on the second frequency manager. The receiver connections are the same. Turn off all transmitters and be sure both frequency managers have their power supply connected. Turn on both frequency managers. Then turn on the receivers and make sure everything is set to Group B. We're using Group B for this system, which allows more channels in challenging Wi-Fi environments. With Group B, you'll be able to run 9 channels in typical conditions and 11 if there isn't much 2.4 GHz interference. Link the transmitters one at a time and you're ready to go. Regardless of your system size, you can improve its performance with these tips. Move any 2.4 GHz devices, like Wi-Fi routers, at least 10 feet or 3 meters from your system. If you're using directional antennas, put other 2.4 GHz devices behind the antennas to minimize interference. To help your system avoid interference, you should turn on any 2.4 GHz sources before turning on your GLXD system. It's always helpful to move antennas closer to transmitters, and a clear line of sight minimizes wireless issues. The maximum distance between antennas and transmitters should be 20 meters inside or 30 meters if you're outside. Our antennas are also mounted above the crowd so people don't block the wireless signal. To learn more about GLXD Advance, visit our website.